Going back to pen and paper is definitely a thing of the past. And I've often lost the pen and paper and through the washing machine, all the rest. And listen, I've often lost my phone, but at least I saved to the cloud and it comes up straight away again if you get a new phone. I would totally recommend Herdwatch. It's made life here so much easier, so much handier and straightforward, especially for my job. So uh, as for moving forward to the future, it's, it's definitely a, a good job. My name's Chris Johnson. I'm from Fymel Town here in County Tyrone, Northern Ireland. Um, farm here with me, my partner Kendall, and uh, run a suckler farm with store cattle. Keep sheep too. Also, I work out full time as well, doing pregnancy scanning, uh, embryo transfer, and with an, an AI business as well. I'd be the third generation here. My father uh, works out, but he, he farmed a bit too, and then my grandfather was a full-time farmer. We keep pedigree limousines, we keep uh, commercial cattle, and uh, we keep a few Dutch-spotted sheep. I don't keep a massive amount of them. I keep kind of two and three of kind of best quality cattle and sheep that I can, and then I'd, uh, I would take embryos out of them and put them into recipients. My job out on the road, again, we do pregnancy scanning. 70% uh, of my work would be the dairy, dairy world. They're very, very precise with their dates and if they want the sex of the calf and obviously to know if there's twins coming, I say accurate dates and they just need to keep the thing moving the whole time. And again, same as the embryo work, it's, it's more about improving the genetics. The AI works very, very good steady run. Um, we, we manage a few farms and we use Herdwatch on them too, uh, more so for myself and, and, uh, and the workman there. We would, you know, we can access their own Herdwatch to walk around their cows and, and manage them. Personally, the Herdwatch comes in most convenient for me is when I'm working at uh, my own animals and even a few herds that we manage around the country is the breeding end of things. Definitely couldn't do that it now. Keeping AI records, even particular bulls, it'll flag you up the bulls, their codes, all that there. It'll flag up repeat dates. If a cow's going to repeat, it'll flag up 18 days. Watch out in case she repeats. So you're keeping a tight eye around things. As for drying off, it'll give you a dry off date. Um, so obviously your cow's getting the right dry cow period. And then obviously down the road to your medicines again, we use minerals here, boluses, keeps all the records for that there too. Well, signing up on Herdwatch very simple. It was, it was really, it was very very straightforward. Um, it was just linked with my, my local APHIS here and brought up every every individual animal up on on the phone. I was on a customer's farm one day. I actually went out to a cow and there was a few for scanning and I noticed him playing on his phone and I thought he was just putting the the AA into his notes, but he actually told me he downloaded the the Herdwatch app. So then he, he actually recommended it and he showed me a wee bit about it. So it got me interested, same as everything. But now that I'm on it, I definitely wouldn't go back to pen and paper. Briefly registered calves here, we, we, would, have, we would have been pen and paper and send it in to our local DARD. Uh, then I am registered online. I did start to do it online. But now that I've the herd watching my phone, I can, I can register the calf if I'm standing in the pen tagging it. Um, again, very simple done. Don't have to sit down, don't have to do anything, just a matter of seconds, the cow's registered. The weight recording, we do bits of it um, here, uh, I suppose, we dose the cattle and then um, the recipients obviously have to be recorded. Um, we'll have a live weigh bridge here too. The recipients have to be on to a, properly, a proper diet to make sure they're, they're maintaining the proper weight at a certain stage. So again, the herd watch will record all that and you can keep a, keep a tight eye on things. If I'm doing any medicine, um, treating for medicine or dosing cattle here, it's, it's very simple. I would just take out my phone and if it was a medicine bottle or dosing stuff, uh, take out my phone, I scan the, the barcode on the particular bottle or the, or the jar of dosing stuff. It then records, it'll then pull in the information off the barcode, the, uh, the batch number, pretty much everything it is. So um, then I can then relate back to it if I do a particular batch of heifers, take their tag numbers down and when they were dosed and what they were dosed with.
Well, preparing for the inspections in the past was definitely the odd sleepless night for there is things you do forget no matter how good you are you will forget about things and the inspectors have their job you know they will pick holes but definitely with herd watch it's, it's a lot lot more straightforward and everything is on your phone if you do it there and then at the time there's no stress The new farm maps, farm maps feature, yeah, I have used a bit at it this year. I think it'll be very, very useful in years to come. I've just recorded particular fields that I maybe spread this year for weeds and so on. Um, again, I would soil sample here too, so again, we can record that. So uh, year after year, yes, that will be more and more useful whenever you can look back on how that field performed last year and so on, because as I said before, you think you remember at the time, but you don't. I would definitely be telling farmers in the future to, to download the app for keeping all their records. Again, we manage a few farms and we'll have got them onto the Herdwatch app. And I would only look after the work unless they were on the, on the app because we'll have a few farms and they're on kind of old school and we're still on pen and paper keeping records. It's so much harder work.